Hey everybody, it's Weather Anchor Mama from WeatherAnchorMama.com. Thanks again for tuning in. And I also want to thank you for all of your great input. It's been almost 11 weeks post-relaxer and I'm doing great. And I've gotten a lot of great advice from you guys. Thanks so much for your thoughts, your opinions. I really appreciate it. So a while ago, a couple people I know recommended that I try the salon hair rules. Now, I go to my own salon, my own lady in Brooklyn. And I haven't been hitting up salons much because I've wanted to take this time to get to know me, get to know my hair and the texture and how it behaves under different circumstances. And I've been doing okay in that department. But it's always a good idea to get a second opinion, sort of like a doctor, you know. Sometimes you want to go to a doctor to get a second opinion. You may go to two or three, whatever. So in this case, you know, I figured, all right, why not try hitting them up, just getting their thoughts. It's owned by Anthony Dickey and also a former supermodel. They team together to start this great salon. They focus on all different kind of hair textures from pin straight to kinky curly. I went one early morning and they give free consultations and that's pretty much what I did because let me tell you, just FYI, if you are ever in New York City and go to hair rules, just keep in mind, just for a wash and like a conditioner or just a wash and style or a wash and curl, you're paying at least $85. Yeah, it's pricey and I wouldn't recommend that. So the consultation was free and I could work with that. <laughs> so I went in and the great thing is that he did spend a little while with me. Usually it's 15 to 20 minutes, but he did spend at least a half an hour just kind of going through my hair and examining it and basically said that it was really, really damaged and it was great that I was going natural. And I mentioned previously in another video that I've been blow drying instead of roller setting when wet and this was on his by his advice actually <laughs> I thought it was kind of weird but you know it made sense after he explained it it's best to blow dry your hair when wet especially when you're dealing with two different hair textures especially for transitioners like myself so I blow dry the roots when it's wet as he recommended and then use a flat iron throughout. Use a flat iron through the roots and through the ends. I'm not a big on heat, so I always keep it low. I always keep it um, just warm. And I try to do it quickly. It takes a while to process. <laughs> but so far, so good. I mean, it does come out a little frizzy, but you know, again, that's I think that's kind of my fault because I like to put it on low and I don't like to go too hard with it. I like to focus on using the flat iron to get rid of the, that leftover frizz. So he did tell me that. I thought it was great. And, and I also purchased some products. Hmm. Now let me tell you. I've been using, I'm always up for new products, as I always mention. Hair Rules Quench Ultra Conditioner, the Hair Rules Daily Cleansing Moisturizing No Suds Shampoo, and you could figure it out, it doesn't sud. <laughs> it has no sulfates, parabens, it's not even tested on animals. I mean, you can't get cleaner than this, guys, so. And then, the Hair Rules Blow Out Your Waves. So I figured, alright, it's a little pricey to get a wash over there, but might as well try the products, right? Let me tell you, not even the products are inexpensive or reasonable or affordable, whatever you want to call it. I understand why. You're paying for the name. The shampoo, hmm, let's see. Hmm, the shampoo, um, $23 for the cleansing cream, right? The conditioner, $24. The blow out your waist is what you use after. It's like a heat protectant kind of thing. 20 bucks. Yeah. I was like, dude, seriously? But I also had my iPhone with me. I looked up on Amazon, and let me tell you, it's not much of a difference. You may save a few dollars on Amazon. However... <laughs> You make up for it in shipping and handling anyway. So it really doesn't matter. My advice, I almost shot myself in the head. I swear to God. 
no, no, I'm just being facetious, but I went to Target and I saw these same bottles. We're talking eight ounce bottles here, eight ounces for between 15 or rather 14 and 16 bucks, a lot less expensive. So if you are in the market for some hair rolls products, I suggest hitting up Target and this is only six ounces. So I don't know. I like to save where I can, especially when buying hair products don't like to spend a lot of money especially if you're buying something for the first time always try to get samples you know stupid me I didn't ask for any and I should have but I for the record I did purchase these um, I should have asked for samples I didn't Target also has a travel pack with about three of I saw three of these and then like maybe one other product with it and it was only like 20 22 bucks. So if you would like to try these products, I think your better bet is to either ask for samples. Uh, you can call the company, ask for samples. I'm not sure if they give them out. Or go to Target and get like the travel size. I mean, I think that's a better, your best bet instead of spending your money on these. Okay, and here's why. I tried the cleansing cream. It's the first thing I use, and as it says, it doesn't sud, which is great because when I, I also um, did a review on them, and they're also great in that it makes your hair soft. The shampoo made my hair soft. Not as soft as when, but still very, very soft and manageable, and it smells good. Let me smell. Yeah, it smells good. Um, the conditioner, what I use next, I wasn't as impressed. As a matter of fact, this conditioner, my hair tends to get really, really tangled when it's wet. This conditioner didn't do anything for my tangles. Yeah, didn't do a thing. As a matter of fact, these two should be switched. <laughs> this should be the shampoo and this should be the conditioner. Because the shampoo was actually great in detangling my hair, especially the roots. And it didn't, I, I felt like I did have a little bit more shedding uh, when I comb through it, but the shampoo was much better in getting out those um, those tangles throughout my hair. And of course, when I was done, the blow out your waves, great for blow drying. And I think you can also use this if you're roller setting, I believe. At least that's what he mentioned, but I use this for blow drying. I did notice that my hair did feel frizzy and it kind of looked, it did make it thick, but it felt a little frizzy. And again, as I mentioned before, I think that was probably my fault because um you know I don't go too hot with a blow dryer and I don't go too long either I kind of do everything with the um do much of the straightening process with the um flat iron but I did notice that so overall you know from a scale of one to ten I probably give this a five I don't know whatever <laughs> because reason why is because for the price it's just not worth it. I think you're better off just going and getting like a Kiki Curly product or curls. You know, it's a curl. That product is also very good. Or when, um, especially if you're like me and have like those tangles. And a big thing for me is trying to somehow not invest too much of your money when you're dealing with starting new products. And also not jumping to conclusions too early. I mean, I did give these products about maybe three weeks. Um, just keep in mind that if you do get samples, you'll know, probably only get one or two uses out of it, depending on your hair type, texture, and length. So overall, I, I think it's okay. Um, nothing really to write home about, but you know, it does the, do the job. And remember that all hair textures are different. So what works for me may not work for you. And what doesn't work for me may work for you. So, you know, feel free to give it a try and always, you know, be sure to keep hitting me back and let me know your thoughts and if you've ever tried these products let me know anthony dickey was great it was great talking to him uh he was phenomenal he also has a book that goes over like everything from the roots to the ends of your hair all different types different textures and i also would recommend getting that you can also read an excerpt online on amazon.com but don't buy it in the store it's $16, dude. Like, seriously, it's $16. I asked the girl, 16 bucks, really? You go on Amazon, you get it for a few bucks with shipping, you paying no more than five, six dollars. You could even get it used or new. So, that is what I recommend. So, 
Let me know your thoughts. Be sure to hit me up. Thanks so much for tuning in. <laughs> and good luck on your hair journeys. Bye.